There is no doubt that hosting an Olympic Games requires a huge coordination effort by hundreds of thousands of people. Leading sports administrator Bob Elphinstone says at the end of the day, it's all about sport. So London has drawn very much on the Sydney experience in, in, in creating the Olympic Delivery Authority and uh, in following the model of how we develop sport and the use of the competition managers, venue managers and how sport needs to lead the way. At the end of the day, the Olympic Games is about the athlete. If you have no athletes, it doesn't matter about the broadcast systems or the, uh, the media or the sponsors, they don't have an event. So we have to be concerned about the quality of the services, the venues, the transport, the food, the Olympic Village, from the athlete's perspective. And, and it's about educating the organising committee that sport is the priority. And that's often difficult for people involved in marketing or in transport or in security. London hopes that the years of planning and heavy investment will make for a very successful Games. The cities more and more these days realise that whilst their, their staff and their expertise needs to come from the local community, they do need to draw on international expertise and we've seen that with uh, every Olympic since. It's about guiding and giving them the best advice, learning from the experiences and ultimately they, they make their own decisions and uh, you know, advisors or consultants uh, provide the best advice and ultimately the organising committee will decide what to do with that advice and hopefully they benefit from it. The Olympics are the largest peacetime event in the world and leave a lasting and hopefully successful legacy on any host city. Sustainability and legacy and the, the Olympic Committee and the Olympic movement now is demanding much more of host cities and probably Sydney started to lead the way in this way, although we were slow to deliver the legacy, but now, 12 years on after the Sydney Games, the legacy of the Sydney Olympics is quite superb. I mean, uh, one only has to visit Sydney Olympic Park and the other venues and the success of the Olympic Village, which became a remarkable housing estate, is there for all to see, and, and London has learned very well from this experience.